Don't rag on B semen. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <B-semen>? <laughs> I'm not saying that. It's it's what's it called? They spent so much time teaching me the all fifty states and all fifty capitals that I don't know much about anything else. Yeah. Like, See, I don't know. know I don't know about... shit about any. Uh, I don't know anything about states except the stereotypes. Well, all you need to know about Florida is that the nickname the Sunshine sh- State is a big fucking lie. Yeah. Yeah. There's a I lot of old I lived people in South Florida. orange juice there. A lot of old people in orange juice there. I mean, if you go to Daytona Beach, which is like 30 minutes away from UCF, there's plenty of university age students, and it's and like the crowd's fine. It's just that there's probably never time that probably. Uh, no time to go to the beach because it's like, it was like really overcast today. And if you go to here South Florida, like... everyone's from yeah, the same hood. Yeah, here actually. <laughs> uh, and I can say that because I lived in South Florida. Yeah, no, it's like this weird gradient. Like my friends from Jacksonville always say how like the, up in the Panhandle is yeah. just nothing but rednecks. Yeah, and then it's there's, weird. Like this slow gradient down to like New Cuba over in Miami. It's, yeah, it's weird, because the farther north you go in Florida, the more southern it gets. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, um, all yeah. the cool people in BC live in Vancouver. It's like a super uh, ultra-progressive yeah. town that, you know, what's funny is actually I was looking for um, housing there before I just moved to a house in the same city with my um, roommates, and... Uh, like, I was looking for a single room there just to see what was available. And basically every one I looked at, like, all the things were saying, like, you have to be not racist, not homophobic, not transphobic. You have to be okay with weed smoking. Even though weed smoking is illegal here. Uh, it's not know, in Colorado. Like, like, every single post was like, you have to be, like, a social justice warrior to live with us. It's like, uh, I'm all for that stuff, but... That shouldn't really be a... I don't know, like, not being racist, racist, not being homophobic, that seems like a pretty neutral position to me. I mean, yeah. Kind of, except the way they word it and the way they mean is nothing like what you think it is. Yeah, like, you have to basically give them, like, special privileges and whatnot. No, yeah, no. I, <laughs> I go to college, I see people walking around with, like, social justice college name on their shirt, and I'm just like, no. No. Stay away from me, please. No. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Vancouver's like a giant community of social justice warrior vegan pussies who just do nothing but <laughs> shit. But the problem is, is that it's really cool. Vancouver is really cool. It's awesome to be there. Uh, I want to assume that I want to assume you mean that literally too, because it's Canada. Oh, that's where I've heard Vancouver before. You go there in Tony Hawk's Underground. <laughs> oh, uh, so that's where okay. you know. That's how you know what Vancouver is. Mario Stella. You know what's Brogy. funny is. Um, Vancouver is actually not very big a city, but it's one of the most famous cities in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Identified as searching for star spirit. Conrad, report to boss. Alert, alert. Um, yeah, so Vancouver is a cool community. It's just a lot of vegan pussies whining about shit a lot, too. But, you know, that, that it's it's a very green community, and they're all about composting and being vegan and whatever, but they have some really really cool establishments there. Okay, guys, I'm, I'll am i be right back because we're almost done with this chapter but I need to take a break. Ah, uh, okay. Right before the boss? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, right before the boss. Hey, Alright, go a... take your break. Yeah, it'll be just a couple minutes. We'll just be shit-talking you behind your back. Alright, yeah. that's cool. God, we do that all faggot. the time. I do that all the time to the other guys. <laughs> You didn't even wait for him to leave. I know. <laughs> uh, speaking of hometown areas, I used to live like half an hour away from Tampa, Florida, which was also a stage in Tony Hawk's Underground. And like, and I used to drive there, and I actually drove through the area. They they some of the areas they modeled. It was basically just a squished version of Tampa, and it felt so cool because I could recognize everything, including the strip club. I remember that weird. Uh, circular strip club UFO thing. That was strange. That's neat. Yeah. Oh, man. I miss being a kid. I don't. Everyone (laughs) says that. Like, in in our generation, is they're always like, oh, being an adult sucks. And it's like, yeah, well, 
it only sucks if you make it suck. I mean, come on. Think of how much stuff you can accomplish as an adult as opposed to a kid. When you're a kid, no one listens to you. No one respects your opinion. You can't get anything done. And you can't get anything done even if you want to. It's like, just... even Kid Me enjoyed being a kid more than I, be, uh, than, uh, than I like being an adult. Although that'll uh, probably change once I actually get a career. <laughs> I love being an adult. Like, seriously. I, like, yeah, I had more freedom when I was a kid. I could go outside and play or whatever. But... I hated not being listened to or being respected by anyone. I wanted to be able to work and make my own life and way. And at the minute I was old enough to move out, I moved out and got my own place and got a job and a car and my own insurance. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, lo- I love being an adult. I wouldn't want to be a kid again. I'd like to be young in spirit, but uh, yeah. not be a kid because yeah. no, re- no one respects you. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I I appreciate, like, all the freedom I have. Like, I moved about a two-hour drive away from my parents' house, so I can go back and visit them whenever I want. But, like, at the same time, I can just sit around in my boxers in my room and do absolutely nothing, and you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to live. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Pay rent and stuff. Yeah. That's the thing. is You have freedom to do what you want when you're an adult, but it's being an adult that makes you more grounded, you know, you makes you realize what's important. Yeah. That's fair. Is, yeah. So I, I am one of those weirdos who thinks that being an adult is way better than being a kid. It's like, yes, you had less responsibilities when you were a kid, but no one expected anything from you because you were a kid. You could just be a little shit all your life and not uh, do anything worthy to society. And they're like, well, kids have their place. In society, they make people happy. And it's like, I don't know what kids you're talking about, because I hate them. They just make me miserable. I wouldn't ever want one to crawl out of my fucking body. <laughs> Ugh. God, even the thought of having a kid makes me want to hurl. <laughs> wow. But, yeah. No, I, I like, you, you can't even fathom how much I despise children. I'm not gonna question it. Like, I hope I have, like, one, maybe two kids someday, but I don't think I could I don't know I, I'm pretty sure the toddler phase is where I'm gonna actually regret saying this that you want that you would want a kid yeah <laughs> well you know I mean once they get past the toddler stage they're ab- absolutely adorable but uh, but before that is pain you know okay I think the only thing I hate more than children is parents who enable their children bad parents. Yeah. Like yeah. I was, I was at Symphony of the Goddesses last week on Saturday, and I was, I had the misfortune of sitting right next to a kid, which oh. was like, oh, I paid two hundred and twenty dollars for this fucking seat, and I had to sit next to a kid. But the kid himself was okay; he wasn't loud or anything. But the mom gave him a 3DS to play during the performance. Why even bring him? I know. And then when I kept being like, oh, because there was this bright. Uh, there was a bright ass screen. Uh, I hear reverb. That's probably Slacker's mic. I called it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah, the bright ass screen. I'm trying to watch the damn orchestra, and uh, uh, the the mom was like, after I sighed, she was like, you know, you need to stop. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me. She's like, no, you need to stop doing that. Your kid is playing a 3DS during a fucking performance. And she's like, no, you need to stop right now. So I'm like, fuck you. And luckily the seat in front of me was empty. So I just sort of stepped over the seat and sat down there. Instead, <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. But like, what kind of parent lets their, ch- lets their child play a 3DS during a performance? Like, don't you think that would piss off everybody? It's the type of parent that wants their kid to shut the fuck up. But even not at the expense under the of worst, the even even for the wrong reasons. But, but anyway, we're about to fight the boss, so. But it's just it's common courtesy. <laughs> I just I couldn't, and the fact that she got mad at me for being mad at him was like the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> you made it, Mario. You guys, bad guys. Bad guys come to steal Star Spirit. Bad guys who come to steal Star Spirit get hurt. We don't let that happen, don't. 
We trap Star Spirit. We get Volcano. Volcano is ours. Good deal. We make things up for you. We beat you, Mario. Yep. Mystery. Woo! We snore. All right, boss fight. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my flower points on this. What? Where's you're the boss gonna, fight? you're gonna die if you don't. No, cause yeah, why? Not on the, not just not on this phase. <sighs> oh man, this is. I, I feel this recording session is a lot more lively than yesterday. That that maybe that's because it's we have a third person. My fault. Yeah, that and I'm not doing homework. That was... I, like, the entire time yeah, last night, I was just bitching and moaning about my homework, and then after the, the street, after the recording, I just felt so bad because that's all I did. <laughs> all I had to do today was sp send spam to myself, but yesterday I had to go on... Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna... I don't need to bring this, this up anymore. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to shut up? You can do that. Come on, man. Give it all you got. Just unload I, on I'm, him. Because I'm concentrating. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I know we killed this topic earlier, but vegans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Maybe I should rewind a bit. Uh, yeah, in in an attempt to get healthier, I started going to the gym and um, tracking my diet to the point where I use a macronutrient calculator to figure out how many cal like how many of each part of a calorie I need to consume. And basically, my daily intake because of what I do at the gym comes to about three thousand four hundred calories a day. Okay, I don't and... know if that's bad or not. Well, the, the recommended average for a male is 2,000, but I need the extra calories because I go to the gym for like an hour and a half. But in any case, um, so for funsies, because I watched some channels and they did like the seven day vegan challenge or basically the odd one out decided to do it. I don't know. Anyways, I watched him and Jaden Animations do the uh, seven day vegan ch challenge and I was curious. So I decided to do a bit of research, you know, look up some food items and see how much like I would have to consume in order to just maintain my current lifestyle sans my diet and I have to eat so much food I have to split up the the food I consume per day into like five meals and I'm, I'm honestly impressed like not just uh, well, vegans in general like they actually have the discipline and willpower to not eat like basically half the food that's available to them but also to people who Go to the gym and work out, because they need to eat a lot more. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yes, but there's a certain attitude that a lot of vegans have. Not all of them, um, but, you know, that they're better than people because they're vegans. Yeah. Which I, I hate. On, yeah, yeah, I touched on this yesterday, but basically, I respect... Like, I really look up to vegans... Who are vegans because they want to and nothing else or for health reasons basically and then there, I respect people who do who who are vegans for moral reasons and I absolutely hate people who are vegans and then try to make me be vegan as well yeah like can't you if you staunchly believe in a cause of being vegan because you don't want if you don't want cruelty to animals or whatever then don't be a dick about it. Just do it. You know, you don't have to yeah. brag. You don't yes, have to be Shia LaBeouf and just do it. Do it. It's just, eh, it bugs me a lot, actually. Yeah, I don't blame you, especially since they don't seem to understand how poorly, um, poorly equipped most f farm animals are to living in the wild. Well, that's a whole other topic. Won't uh, go into that. Don't want anyone uh, getting the wrong idea. 
We don't want no. anyone to get as hurt opinions. <laughs> Fair. Let's shut up now. Yeah, let's just say I have no problem with being a vegetarian or a vegan unless you're a cock about it. Yeah. Then I have a problem. Yeah, I think we can agree there. Yeah. And that's one problem about Vancouver, is there's so many vegans and <laughs> vegetarians there that there's a very good chance that if you go there, you'll uh, have to listen to that shit from someone. I mean, like, every second block, there's some sort of, like, health food store or vegan store or whatever, which is cool. I mean, they have options, but it's just... And we are <laughs> done with the boss. Woo. Uh, you did it with very it. low health. Yeah, you did it with very low health. Good job, you're one with the cosmos. You didn't even level up. I hate that when you beat the boss and don't level up. It's like, eh. <laughs> That's something I actually do like about Kingdom Hearts. Like, they kind of give it to you no matter what. Yeah. I like that too, actually. Well, what's that then? There Now there's nothing between us and some treasure, eh? Let's go! Ikuzo. Okay. Oh, my job. It's a star spirit. It's Ooh. War Star. War Star. <laughs> I love in the Japanese version, Wapu Star. <laughs> it's great. It's Sexy Star. Sexy star. Yeah. Prostitute Four star. star. Oh, porn just... star. Porn star. <laughs> yeah, porn star. <laughs> oh, oh, look at her. Look it's at them gants. Yes. Have you it's ever Saul, thought of... by the way. Okay. Saul, Saul, whatever. Yeah, even my own brother calls it Saul, and it's like, it, it's Saul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, Saul. Yes. Better call Saul. Anyways. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Right. Have you ever thought about streaming Metal Wolf Chaos? I have no idea what that is. Okay. The guys who made Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Armored Core also made this one-off game for the Xbox 360. Actually, never mind. It'd be really Wait, hard to from require. From Software? Are you talking about From Software? Yes. From From okay. Software. Okay. Yeah, they, they decided to make this like very Armored Core-inspired game that's basically... Uh, Japanese stereotype of an American, the game. It's great. <laughs> okay. But you, no. You basically... Oh. I, okay. I don't even have that game. And I can't afford to be buying games right now. Okay, well... Yeah. So, that okay, well, so, the disc costs so much. So, oh, we, need you, we need your girly voice for this. Mario, this way, must hurt. Okay. I don't know. She has throat cancer. What do you want from me? Okay, we'll probably get her some menthols later. <laughs> yeah, no, don't bother with the Metal Wolf Chaos. It's two hundred and sixty dollars yes. right now. For a single copy. Treasure! No, nope. 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 no, it's if I it's some nope, sort nope. of prostitute. It's Patrick. <laughs> Who are you calling Dirty Dan? <laughs> Who are you calling Dirty This one too. The adventure's never over until the treasure is found or I die. Oh, yes, of course! Perhaps that horrible, fiery monster had it and was hiding it somewhere! Yes! <laughs> that's it! I'll just run back beautiful. and check! Oh. Be, What's this trembling then? Probably nothing. Kids with fireworks, no doubt. Now, after that treasure! Inside the volcano! What universe is he living in? It's all. No! Sorry, I was grabbing something. No, wait. Yeah, hot, 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 hot. Oh boy, pizza, my favorite. Why don't you dive right in, Mario? This volcano is going to erupt any time now. It's far too dangerous to go back the way you came. We have to escape another way. Oh, and she, and just now she notices the dead. I feel s oh, uh, Mario, actually, you can you what? blow up? I feel a slight wind coming from this cracked wall. Could be a room beyond. Mario, can you blow up this wall? Oh, man. <clears throat> Mario, hurry, blow.
lava's getting higher. Lava. It found my stash of drugs. Seems like every N64 game had a level like this where you had to outrun rising water, sand, lava, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, it's like as soon as games transitioned over to 3D, there was like a checklist of uh, worlds you needed. Yeah. Yeah. Like in Crystal Shards, there's a place where you have to outrun sand. This is lava. There's, I know there's games where you have to outrun ri uh, rising water. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! At last! The treasure is right here! So close, can't resist, but the stars, I risk my life for that treasure! Because I'm clearly not doing that right now! Apparently I became Eilish for some reason! My tree! Me treasure! No! I can't whistle. <laughs> hey, me neither. Ah, jeez. Sorry. Ow, my ear balls. <laughs> ear, ear, ear balls. <laughs> my ear balls. <laughs>